Hi everyone, it's Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home. Today we are going to get crafty. One of the things that I just love about fall is that there are literally free craft supplies all over the ground. I am creating today a wreath out of these beautiful pine cones that my kids and I have been picking up on walks lately. And a wreath form that I've had lying about for some time now, it's originally from the Dollar Tree. I did use a glue gun and a little bit of some floral wire that I also got at the Dollar Tree a while back. And I'm crafting with my friend DIY Mommy today. Christina is hosting a fall DIY and decor challenge, so this video will be part of that challenge. I love this challenge because I love making my home beautiful little by little with little projects like this that don't cost a lot of money but add a lot of beauty and creativity to my home. So if that's something you love too, make sure to hit that red subscribe button and the little bell so you'll be notified when I have new content for you guys. If you watched my fall decorating video, which I will link up here and down below for you guys, I shared how I decorated my home for fall without spending any money this year and I love it more than any fall decor I've ever done. I went ahead and took this concept of zero dollars when it came to planning this craft project. My kids and I had a blast pine cone hunting outside. We picked up all different sizes and shapes and types of pine cones and you can bake them to get rid of any critters if you like. We didn't bother with that. This is sort of a lazy approach. I just tied them up in a bag for a few days and wiped them off gently with some baby wipes if they were dirty and we were good to go. I had read the best way to do a pine cone wreath is with the curve facing up. That way you get that nice texture that we love in our thick pine cone wreaths. I did this the lazy way and I used a glue gun to do the first layer on the inner rim. A lot of the tutorials I read online used floral wire to attach pine cones for the entire wreath. I just don't have that kind of patience. So I used hot glue for that first layer and for the outer layer on the outside, I did use floral wire. I twisted a piece around the pine cone and used the wire that was sticking out to wrap around the outer layer of the wreath. On the outer layer, I used the largest size pine cone that we had. And on the inner layer, I used the medium size pine cones that we had. Once that was done, I looked for more of the smaller size that fit nicely between the two layers and filled that in really well. Once I had all three layers complete, I noticed I had a lot of little gaps. So I used the teeny tiny pine cones that the kids had found and sort of added them with, again, hot glue to uh, cover up some of those gaps. My original plan had been to attach this wreath to my back door with a command strip. It was surprisingly super heavy when it was done. These pine cones have some weight to them when you have this many on a wreath. So I went ahead and hung this on the wall next to my window. The light is a bit tricky here since it's backlit, but I think it's gorgeous. It adds such warmth and such texture to this part of my home. In the fall, textures are key to making your home look and feel cozy. If a pine cone wreath feels too overwhelming check out this video here and down below I have a tutorial from last year on how to make a really simple pine cone garland it takes less than two minutes the humble pine cone may truly be my favorite fall decor piece it is so beautiful and I love all the different colors and shapes and sizes that pine cones come in I hope you guys are inspired to go out for a walk gather some pine cones and make something beautiful for your home if you're new here please subscribe I'd love to have you here at the sweet and simple home thank you christina for hosting this wonderful challenge i will have her playlist linked down below so you guys can go watch and be inspired take care everyone and i will be back with more soon bye